Hi, today I want to tell you about the best service in the best online storage category. It helps protect your personal and business data from common forms of data loss. In this short video, I will show you a few secrets that few people know about that make it truly one of the best in the best online storage category. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch our other videos. Let's not waste time and get started. Hello everyone and welcome to our informative review. Today I will tell you about a very reliable and useful service, which is very pleasant and reliable to use. Let's start right now. Dropbox is a simple, reliable file synchronizing and storage service with enhanced collaboration features, but it's more expensive and less integrated than platform offerings like Google Drive, iCloud, and OneDrive. Dropbox, a pioneer among cloud storage and synchronizing services, offers synchronized desktop folders for anywhere access. Though it's comparatively pricey, unique tools like its paper, showcase, and hello sign digital signature features distinguish Dropbox. Despite those benefits, PC Mac editors choice Google Drive and Microsoft OneDrive bid it out for value, OS integration and online editing, which we judge to be more important than Dropbox's extras. In general, with cloud services available directly from within Apple, Google, and Microsoft's platforms, we are skeptical about the need for third-party cloud storage, since the building options are so simple to use and tightly integrated into the operating systems. Dropbox is still an excellent choice for online storage, however, especially for those who'd rather not put all their data X into the dominant tech players' baskets. The company is continually adding new services. Recently announced features in private beta include a password management service called Dropbox Passwords, the pin-protected Dropbox Vault, and HelloSign digital signatures. A limited computer backup feature is available as a beta release for all users, and a family plan with 2 GB shared among 6 users has been announced, but pricing isn't yet available. We'll update this review as the features become available to all users. All the Dropbox apps are free to download, and there are plenty of them, but storage is limited if you don't pay. The free basic account starts you out with a meager 2 GB, and you won't find it on Dropbox's site unless you get there via specific web search or navigate directly to dropbox.com basic. You can earn more space through referrals and other actions such as contributing to the user form. By comparison, several other file synchronizing and storage programs give you much more than 2 GB to start. For example, Box gives you 10 GB free, 5 times as much as Dropbox. For those putting more than the free account offers, Dropbox has two account levels for individuals and two for businesses. The Plus account costs $11.99 per month or $119.88 per year, which gets you 2 terabytes of storage. Plus, also adds offline file access, remote device wipe, smart synchronizing, and priority email support. The next level up, Professional, gets you 3 terabytes, smart synchronizing, a showcase feature to present and track your work, shared link controls, full text search, watermarking, 120 day version history, and live chat support. For comparison, SugarSync has a $9.99 per month plan, but it only gives you 250GB of space. For the most bang for your buck storage-wise, iDrive offers a truly whopping 5TB for just $69.50 per year. Microsoft OneDrive's 1TB account goes for just $6.99 per month or $69.99 per year but that also gets you a subscription 
to installable and online Microsoft Office 365 programs, and a $99 per year OneDrive family account gives 6 users each 1 terabyte along with the Office apps. Google Drive's 2 terabyte account is $9.99 per month, the same price as Apple iCloud. As mentioned, you get more free space, 10 GB with Box. Be aware, however, that Box limits uploaded files to 250 MB each for non-paying members. For $10 per month, you can increase your Box storage allotment to 100 GB, and a $15 per month Business Box plan gets you unlimited storage. Both paid account levels increase the maximum file upload size to 5 GB. In terms of free accounts, OneDrive offers 5 GB of free space for US users, which is more than double Dropbox's offering. Google Drive gives you 15 GB to start, but the math gets tricky with Google Drive. That 15 GB is spread across Google Drive, Gmail, and Google Photos so you might eat up the space quickly. Not all files count against your limit, however. Anything you created with Google Docs, Sheets and Slides doesn't count. Photos don't count if you choose high quality rather than original quality. See Google's help page on Drive Storage Limits for even more confusing details. With Dropbox, there is no file size limit for files uploaded via the desktop application or mobile apps, provided your account has enough room. Files uploaded via the website, however, are capped at 50 GB. The price for business Dropbox accounts varies based on the number of employees. Pricing starts at $15 per month per user with a minimum of 3 users. Business accounts include a lot of additional features and services, such as multiple team management and audit lock, and granular sharing permissions, supported apps and compatibility. Dropbox has been in the file synchronizing and storage game for years, and its maturity shows. There are Dropbox apps for Windows, Mac, Linux, iPhone, iPad, Android, Kindle Fire, Blackberry, and Windows tablets. In a pinch, there is a web app that works well too. When installed on a laptop or desktop computer, Dropbox works almost invisibly, appearing and working more like a part of your operating system than a separate app. It looks different from other cloud synchronizing services such as SugarSync, which has a complete app interface even on the desktop. But OneDrive, iCloud and Google Drive blend with the operating system even more tightly. One huge perk to using Dropbox is that it integrates with practically every other app and web service out there. Say you have a mobile email client that can integrate with cloud storage services. Dropbox is almost definitely going to be among them. Dropbox is also a supported app on IFTTT and Zapier. Compatibility with other services is rarely a problem for Dropbox users. How to get Dropbox and the basics Dropbox is available as a download for desktop installation from the company's website and for mobile devices from their respective app stores. This site makes it easy for new users to install Dropbox, detecting their operating system and automatically suggesting the right program. When you download and install the client, you create a Dropbox account or sign in to an existing one. You can sign in with Apple or Google's sign-in services or use your own email and password. Next, the program creates a folder on your computer called Dropbox. You can choose where to install it or you can accept the default location. When the installation finishes, an icon appears in the top menu bar in Mac or system tray in Windows that lets you open your Dropbox folder with just one click. From this same icon, you can also reach your preferences and settings to adjust, for example, the folder's location or upload and download speeds.
Soon after installation, a message appeared in the tray icon pop-up told us we had to reinstall Dropbox to fix its synchronizing icons. To use Dropbox, you simply put files in the Dropbox folder and leave them there. Everything else is automatic. Like most other file synchronizing and storage services, Dropbox automatically synchronizes your files everywhere, so they're available on any internet-connected machine where you've installed Dropbox or that has a web browser. Files you save at home automatically show up on your office computer. Photos you upload from the Dropbox iPhone app show up on your laptop at home and so forth. Unfortunately, if you don't want Dropbox to take up space on your computer's local hard drive, you have to spring for a professional paid account. The online-only option does afford it shows files stored in the cloud, then loading them only when you try to open them. OneDrive's Files On Demand option does this for all accounts, and Google File Stream does it for G Suite, but not professional Google Drive accounts. Dropbox does let you select folders you don't want synchronized locally, but the file names won't be visible in your desktop Dropbox folder. Backup Though file synchronizing services are not the same as online backup services like OneDrive, Dropbox can backup a few folders that do not live inside the services master folder – Documents, Desktop, and Downloads. Note that if you are already using another service to backup these folders, the Dropbox setup for backing them up will fail. As you can see above, the features is in beta currently. Once you've set it up, you can use the folders normally and any files stored in them will be available on the web and in the mobile apps. If you delete files from your Dropbox folder on your computer, they will also be deleted from all the other devices on which you have Dropbox installed and from your online Dropbox account. iDrive and Sauce Online Backup keep locally deleted files in the cloud forever just in case you deleted them by accident. Dropbox does offer a sort of grace period according to its documentation. If you have a Dropbox Basic or a Plus account, you can recover any file or folder deleted in the last 30 days. If you have a Dropbox Professional or Business account, you have 180 days to recover deleted files. Security and Privacy Dropbox uses standard SSL TLS for transferring files and data at rest is encrypted using 256-bit advanced encryption standard. You can choose two-factor authentication using either SMS text messages or an authenticator app like Microsoft Authenticator. Like most major online services, we have a small number of employees who must be able to access user data when legally required to do so. That's the exception not the rule. We have strict policy and technical access controls that prohibit employee access except in these rare circumstances. In addition, we use a number of physical and electronic security measures to protect user information from unauthorized access. The company's privacy policy explicitly states that it won't sell to advertisers or other third parties. Dropbox is based in the US and complies with the Department of Commerce's Privacy Shield framework, which guarantees a level of data privacy protection. Dropbox Collaboration Dropbox offers a few ways to share files with others and collaborate. The newest is a suite of collaboration tools collectively known as Dropbox Paper. It's somewhat reminiscent of the disastrous Google Wave project of several years ago. Freeform documents that grew unwildly and disorganized as collaborators all chimed in. Luckily, Dropbox Paper is far more elegantly implemented than that was. From right within the Dropbox web app, you can create new paper documents, to which collaborators 
can add videos, images, tables, as well as emojis and stickers. Dropbox Paper is only available in a web browser and in its own mobile apps. You won't have ever see your paper docs in the Dropbox folder on your computer, but a link from the system icon has a link to open paper in your browser. It includes commenting tools nearly everywhere, and nearly all its features can be used collaboratively just by adding an add symbol and the name of the collaborator in question. For example, there is a to-do list option that lets you jot down tasks you need to complete, or tasks for a group of people where you would use add name to make the assignments clear. Digital signing with hello sign. Dropbox now lets you attach secure digital signatures. You can see this feature being especially useful for law offices, among other businesses. And if you are sharing documents with Dropbox, having the capability building makes a lot of sense. Unlimited use of hello sign requires a separate subscription, but I was able to use the integrated service in a free Dropbox account without such a subscription. A Dropbox contact informed me that all users can get three signatures per month for free, which is perfect for the amount I use them. Sharing The other more basic way to collaborate in Dropbox is to share files. The service discontinued support for public folders, which used to be automatically created at setup. Now you have to share files and folders to specific contacts. You can share any file or folder in Dropbox. Just tap the Share button next to the folder or file. You get choices of Can Edit and Can View, but only Dropbox professional and business users get sharing options like restricting link access to specified users, link expiration and password protection. OneDrive does all this for free. Simple synchronizing with a dash of collaboration. Veteran online file synchronizing service Dropbox offers easy setup along with a deep feature set and seemingly endless web service integrations. Its lightweight paper collaboration, showcase tool for a web presentation, and hello sign digital signatures distinguish the cloud synchronizing service.